name is Rahul and I will be teaching you how to solve problems in three-dimensional geometry relating to the foot of the perpendicular and also how are we going to find the image of the plane. So for starters any plane surface has a normal and the normal is nothing but a perpendicular line coming out from that surface. So this pen right here at 90 degrees to this paper is the normal to the plane. So as you can see at 90 degrees this particular line forms a normal to this plane. Now of course you can have multiple normals so this also becomes your normal if it's at 90 degrees. So in this particular case we have been given this plane 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 equal to 0 and we are told that we have to find the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 which is this plane now for this particular plane the normal is the normal vector is given by 2i cap that is this 2x minus 3j cap plus 4k cap now we need to find the normal we need to find the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the point 0 0 0 that is the origin to that is we'll name it as o and the point Q which is our required foot of the perpendicular because from this 0 0 0 to the perpendicular that lands on this plane so we'll name that as x1 y1 and z1 so we need to find this Q now what is OQ OQ is a vector and we know that OQ vector can be obtained by the point Q vector minus the point O vector which is nothing but x1 minus 0 i cap plus y1 minus 0 j cap plus z1 minus 0 k cap. So this is basically our OQ vector which is simply x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap now oq vector is this vector and this is our normal vector as given in the question the equation so oq vector as you can see is perpend is parallel to this normal so when you have parallel lines your direction ratios are proportional so we can say that oq vector is parallel to the normal to the plane mind you oq is also normal to the plane but we name normal to the plane as the thing that is given to us like in the equation so the basically the direction ratios are proportional now when you have proportional direction ratios what can you say you can say that the oq oq direction ratios that is x1 by the direction ratio of the normal to the plane by 2 is equal to y1 by the direction ratio of the normal to the plane again minus 3 is equal to z1 which is our direction ratio of OQ upon 4 is equal to some constant factor K so basically you have x1 equals 2k y1 equals minus 3k and z1 equals 4k now this x1 y1 and z1 that we see over here in this diagram lies on the plane lies on this plane given to us 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 equal to 0 now if this lies on the plane then this 2k minus 3k and 4k should satisfy this equation therefore we will substitute and we get 2 into 2k minus 3 into minus 3k plus 4 into 4k minus 6 equals 0 therefore what do we get we get 29k 
k equals 6 k is equal to 6 by 29 so we can simply start substituting our k equal to 6 by 29 in k equal to 6 by 29 in our x y and z so therefore our x1 y1 and z1 equals what 2k comma 2k minus 3k and 4k which is nothing but 2 into 6 12 by 29 minus 3 6 18 by 29 and 36 by 29 sorry 24 by 29 24 by 29 so this forms our Q point which equals our given which forms our foot of perpendicular or basically coordinate of the foot of perpendicular now we need to find the image this is a plane this is our point O 0 0 0 this is our point Q which is nothing but our x1 y1 and z1 that we have found above and this is our r okay this r is nothing but x2 y2 and z2 now x2 y2 and z2 is the image now if you have a plane a line perpendicular to it is the normal so you can have the normal above and below so the image is below exactly equidistant from the point Q so basically Q forms the midpoint of OR therefore X1 Y1 Z1 equals 0 plus X2 Y2 comma 0 plus Y2 Y2 comma 0 plus Z2 Y2 so what do we have 12 by 29 comma minus 18 by 29 comma 24 by 29 equals x2 by 2 y2 by 2 and z2 by 2 therefore x2 equals 24 by 29 y2 equals minus 36 by 29 and z2 equals 48 by 29 so our image r is nothing but 24 by 29 minus 36 by 29 and 48 by 29 so this is our image this is our foot of perpendicular and this is our given point thanks for watching